We're going to listen to Pat Robertson, who apparently came out of mothballs for the purpose of uh, giving us his prophetic insights as it relates to the invasion of the Ukraine. Uh, <clears throat> here's Pat Robertson. Now, the word of the Lord. Now, note, notice how he started. Now, the word of the Lord. So, thus saith the Lord. If you contradict Pat Robertson here, uh, you're, you're, you're contradicting God himself. It says this, and I want to read from Ezekiel. Son of man, set your face toward Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Prophesy against him and say, this is what the Lord God says. Behold, I am against you, Gog chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, so I'll turn you around and put hooks into your jaws and bring you out. Is, is that referring to Putin? And all your army, horses and horsemen, all of them magnificently dressed, a great contingent with them, Persia, Cush, and Put, all of them with buckler and helmet, Gomer with all his troops, Beth Togarma from the remote parts of the north with his troops, many people with you. Now, I want to show you the map of what we're looking at right now. Persia is Togarma and Tubal, you see right there. And then North Sudan is so-called Kush. Now, all the troops there are going to be coming against Israel in the latter days. And God says, I am going to take care of it. But why is, is Putin insane? Well, yes and no, because he is being driven to move against Israel because God says, I'm going to put hooks in your jaws. I'm going to bring it down on them. <laughs> Total misuse of this text. You know, so God has put hooks in the mouth of Putin to draw him into a fight with Israel. <sighs> this aired on February 28th. Now, you, you get the picture. But again, I, I want to get that map one more time to show the relationship. You see, there's Ukraine, and there is the Mediterranean, and there is the Crimea and the Black Sea. And you see that little land bridge between the Black Sea and, he says, Greece and Bulgaria. On the one hand, you've got, you've got uh, Putin and his troops. On the other hand, you have Erdogan and the people in Turkey. And those together will be making up this tremendous uh, army in the latter days. And I, I think you can say, well, Putin's out of his mind. Yes, maybe so. But at the same time, he's being compelled by God. He went into the Ukraine, but that wasn't his goal. His goal was to move against Israel ultimately. 